Hi, welcome back to Automation Revealed. Uh, this is Kedar here again, coming to you from uh, UiPath Forward here in Las Vegas. I'm here with David Hunter from Ericsson. David, welcome on board. Thanks so uh, much. Would you kindly introduce yourself to our audience uh, and your role? Hi, yeah. My name is David Hunter. I work for Ericsson in Stockholm in Sweden, and I'm the strategic product manager for RPA for all enterprise usage within Ericsson. Excellent. So what does that mean, strategic product manager? Well, I make the decisions for which technology do we move forward with, how they're rolled out in the organisation, and cooperating with business to see a smooth change management. And uh, when did you, when did Ericsson uh, start uh, on their journey with the automation program? Yeah, sure. So Ericsson started about three years ago. Right. And I think we started like a, a number of companies do by working first with unattended automation. So we've had a very successful program for the last three years. Uh, running unattended automations and just within the last year, so almost exactly a year ago, we started the journey into attended automation and the democratisation and bringing it much more to a grassroots level for our people. So when you talk about uh, democratisation of RPA, this is exactly the message that UiPath has been delivering to the market, automation first mindset, uh, citizen-led mm. development. Is that what you are working on right now? Yeah, that's very much what we're working on at the moment. We have a, a vision, a dream, to give everybody in the organization their own personal uh, robot on their laptop right. that they can use almost as they personally desire, both to develop and get ideas developed for them. That is excellent and a really uh, exciting time for your employees. What's the, what has the reaction been from uh, the employees, the ones who have, uh, probably the early ones who have started mm -hmm. adopting the technology? We find with our general staff, we get a very positive reaction. There's a lot of curiosity in the organisation, a lot of creative people who really want to start, start to learn this technology very early. So we get a very positive reaction from our staff. Excellent. And are, are these business users, are these more technical people who are getting involved in uh, developing their robots themselves? Yeah, I mean, that's a very interesting question. When we first started thinking about attended automation and being more democratic with the uh, development, we strongly thought that there would be a lot of technical roles that would want to pick this up first and have a, a natural aptitude for it. But what we've actually discovered going forward is that there's a broad interest of this across the business. So from technical roles to, to technical roles to non-technical roles, there's a large interest everywhere, anywhere, and it's very difficult to predict who actually will, who actually can go on to become a citizen developer based on their actual job role. That is interesting. So basically what you're saying is that it's not necessarily a job role based decision whether they go on and become citizen level developers, but it's the, the requirement that comes from, uh, you know, from the, 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 the business uh, unit users and uh, who then decides and has the skills to take on that piece of work. Very much so. The technology is at a level that most people can learn it and use it. So it really is open to everybody. You don't need a specific qualification to start. So we're here at Forward 3, the UiPath event. We talked a lot about uh, some new, uh, new, uh, tech, uh, new innovations from UiPath being introduced to the market. Which one of them does really kind of stand out for okay. you? So the features I'm most interested in are those features that enable our citizen developers to work faster. So I'm very much interested in the new studio developments you're working on, which actually simplify and give a, a lower entry level to citizen developers that want to start developing their own robots. That's excellent, David. I think uh, if I was to kind of sum it up, this is a, a model journey for a RPA program where you started off with a top-down approach of unattended automation, heading towards more attended, more robot for everyone. Uh, any advice for uh, other companies who are, uh, you know, embarking on a similar journey? Yeah, I would uh, give the advice that <clears throat> I think it's very safe to start with unattended. That gives everybody in the organisation a basic understanding of what RPA can do. And then to take the next steps into attended when you've got a good baseline of unattended and analyse your own organisation and see how RPA as in attended mode can bring benefits to the company. But really the technology is very real today, so it's a lot to do with talking to your business, understanding how this will impact you and then begin to roll it out. So the technology is here, uh, it's a matter of uh, convincing the organization starting with the unattended automation to build the confidence and then uh, making sure that everyone's on board with the citizen and the robot for everyone vision. Very much so. Excellent. David, thank you very much for being here. Really appreciate this has been invaluable. Thank you all for uh, joining us and uh, we see you soon next time. Thank, thank you. you.